my way to the Indian dealership for the taste ride event to go meet Joe. It'll be fun.
What's up, everybody? So I'm on my way to the Indian dealership for the test ride. I am looking forward to test ride a brand new 2019 Springfield Dark Horse, which is ultimately the bike that I'm looking forward to get at some point. Maybe not right now, but definitely is the bike that I'm aiming for. Um, it will be fun. We're going to be meeting with Joe, and uh, he's going to test ride another bike. He's looking to get a bike himself, and hopefully he'll find one today. Although, knowing him as I know him, chances are that that is not going to happen. But we'll find out. Yeah. All right, I didn't know the route, I just came back here. And here we are waiting for Joe finally at the event. See a bunch of bikes parked already. Obviously all these bikes on the side are already owned bikes. The uh, bikes for test riding are all the way so, in the front. You convinced yet? Uh, are you gonna listen to my advice this right time? Now, trying to get his location. Texting him. Tell me that see wouldn't be a lot more not. comfortable. So this is the bracelet Kira, that I got once I register to test ride the bikes. Right oh yeah, this is a nice bike dude. This bike, this bike has some ass. I don't really know exactly what the point of this bracelet is, but ultimately this is what they give you. And they also give us a card which supposedly we register on there. And that car pretty much has our records there's a card uh, and we can save it to use it all across the nation at any Indian dealership test riding event we don't have to register again afterwards supposedly all that it was required to test ride was just helmet jeans and insurance uh, pretty much insurance for us in case something happens and yeah. they will cover the whatever happens to the bikes not yeah, my personal much. insurance <clears throat> We're about to start test riding the bikes. We're actually waiting for everybody that is gonna go to get ready. There was a lot of people test riding scout bobbers, which is extremely funny because even for me that I'm just 5'7", that bike seems to be extremely uncomfortable after riding for long periods of time. But there was a lot of people interested in it. I get that the aggressive look of the bike is pretty fun. However, because of the position in which you ride, plus of course the bad seat, that will make back pain intolerable just after a little while. I would say riding 10, 20 minutes on that bike is a challenge. So I am obviously test riding this nice black Indian Springfield Dark Horse 2019. I have to say that I never test rode one before and I'm looking for the experience. I am going to be sharing how the bike feels, how the bike rides, handles and what differences I find 
between this bike and my own bike, my uh, Indian Scout. Obviously, just after sitting down, you know, it's the weight difference. This is a much heavier bike. Um, for somebody like me that I'm 5'7", I'm having problems keeping my feet on the ground. I'm able to touch the ground, definitely. However, I'm not able to stick my feet flat on the ground, which is definitely going to cause some issues. But then again, the bike's comfortability is great. And <clears throat> being that I am an experienced rider by now, is not really causing me much problems, especially while we're moving. I'm just fine. The bike handles extremely well. It has a lot of power and definitely a huge power boost compared to the Scout. Scout obviously being a lighter bike has a lot more, more faster acceleration. However, ultimately the RPMs and the size of the engine on this bike tops us count any day of the week. The gear settings on this bike are, I would say, completely different due to the fact that the engine seems to be different. I have noticed that when I ride my Scout, mostly I am on fifth gear just to drive comfortably and not to have to like overuse the engine just to cruise while on this bike it seems mainly that fourth gear is the gear to be I keep asking myself what was the guy in front of me doing because he seemed to be riding in the middle of the lane all the time like it seems like he never rode the roof or something very, very weird, very, very unconscious and uncomfortable too because at some point the rider in front will change sides and he will stick to the middle, pretty much messing up with the rotation and the line and all that, making it like very, very difficult to be able to line up. And if something happens, it's a mess because we don't know exactly which way he's going to fall to which side, possibly causing me and Joe that was supposed to be behind me to have an accident too. Now, one of the reasons that I like the, uh, the Springfield is because I don't like the uh, fairings on the front fender. I like the uh, tire to be exposed instead of covered on the sides. I know that it is an icon Indian style thing, but just not liking it. I don't mind it on the back tire because in this bike at least the tires are covered by the saddlebags but definitely not my style. Now I was lucky enough to find a bike like this that already had the uh, monkey bars on them which for me they are a lot more comfortable than riding with the short bars. Joe on the other hand didn't care the comfortability, being able to sit up straight makes a huge difference for me and I don't like to mess up my back. It so is, the I told more comfortable you. I can ride. I told the you, that's, that's what you need, dude. Back. With that fender over there. So during this part we're just riding, trying to get to the highway. Ultimately we're gonna take on the highway and we're gonna test the power of this bike fast the acceleration is and how well it handles on a fast speed situation. I do have to say that I'm sorry not very really used to the uh, accelerator handling this way. On the scout I don't have room to actually move the acceleration forward I can only pull back make it the bike accelerate but on this bike when you let go the accelerator goes into neutral however if you move your hand forward instead of back to accelerate the accelerator seems to be like letting go that way which is kind of weird definitely if I would get this bike I would change 
the mirrors and the grips. Those grips are not bad, but I don't see them being very, very comfortable after a while. I like something a little bit better. Not that these are low quality, but they are definitely not something I would like to ride with. I want to get. I don't think there's an experience like that when it comes to motorcycle riding. <clears throat> when I bought my Scout, I went to the dealership and uh, I was looking to get this bike. Unfortunately, back then I didn't have enough credit, so therefore I couldn't afford it at that time. I ended up getting a Scout, which I have no complaints. I love that bike. But for long trips, it's a pain, mainly because. A, it's a smaller bike. B, the gas tank is just too small. While other bikes don't have to fill out so often, this cup does. So if you're planning on a trip on a scout, you may find yourself stopping to pump gas a lot more often than other bikes. As the tank on the scout is only a three gallon tank versus any other bike including this one that I'm test riding it has a five gallon tank making it more efficient and more comfortable for long ride and here we go there we go this I need a lower reach seat sits too hard for me if you're yeah. looking for Something with power, something like this is definitely the way to go. It's just a seat. They're the I never seen personally Joe so excited to test ride a bike. He kept telling me this bike. I like awesome. the bars in this one. And I have to agree with him. This bike definitely is where to go. I just can't I mean, ride. Not like necessarily that, a dark horse, but if you yes. can get yourself this type of I'll bike and you're already experienced. This is something that will last you quite a bit of time that you don't need to upgrade so often. Now, there's a lot of people that will say, well, you know what, I prefer the Chieftain. Well, the Chieftain is not bad. My issue is just I don't like the fairings on it. I don't like the front part, the crowdness. I don't care for speakers on my bike either. Motorcycle to listen to music, I care about riding, enjoying the ride, and feeling the world of the place. If I can't feel all that, I'm definitely going to go on motorcycle. That's why I have windshields on any of my bikes.
anybody that buys a bike that's a look forward to We're on the way to the dealer and we're gonna be there momentarily. Finally, I think he caught the idea that he's supposed to ride on one of the sides, not in the middle. This guy is definitely not used to riding a group. I do have to say that. Um, at first, I was a little hesitant of leaning, mainly because I'm not used to riding with saddlebags. So I didn't know exactly how far I could lean, and I didn't want to end up scraping the bike or anything like that. But then I finally just got used to it, and I was like, okay, well, you know what? Let's try it out, see what happens. And ultimately, they said their insurance will cover the bike. So as soon as I don't fall, I should be fine, and then again, Thankfully, I didn't fall because that would have been a very, very painful experience. Not necessarily just painful, but also embarrassing. I will go ahead and say that this bike is definitely a big improvement from this car. Anybody has like it? the chance to actually told you. go from a I told you, to that thing bike, moves too, dude. This is a very it good moves bike. moves too. Dude. Unless you like sport bikes yeah. or a different style bike. This is definitely my next bike. You just want to be able to ride without hustles, be able to ride as long as you want. This is definitely the bike to go. Now in a minute we're going to go inside of the dealership. We're going to start looking at bikes, see if Joe finds something. Gonna take a while getting used to. I told you, dude. This is a pretty cool event they got going on. Actually, yesterday there was a lot more people here. I was here yesterday. There were not a lot more people. Here. You were, they had a picture over there with uh, a bunch of other people. What did you test ride yesterday? Uh, she was just coming to see about a helmet, what kind of helmet you get in. Oh. What time was that? Oh. Did you work yesterday? No, they sent us home. Why don't you hit me up, dude? Because I figured you were all. Well, yeah. See what they got in the Yeah, no, I don't. A lot of bikes, man. Yeah, those FTRs. No, they're not for me, man. Yeah, that's a lot. That's not necessarily a lot of bikes. That's a lot of cash. <laughs> that's what that is. A lot of cash. They have no clutch. It's just. It's like automatic. It's just a throttle. Well, yeah. 
What do you need a, a clutch for? Did you know you gotta wear a seatbelt to wear those? To ride those? No, you don't. Yeah, you do. No. Yeah? So all the ones I've seen, nobody has worn. Oh, so I've seen them with people wearing seatbelts on them. Oh, that's a huge thing. That's a lay down and cruise. Yeah. Well, what I'm more interested in is how much gas you can fit in it. Yeah. The more gas, the that's less the, I gotta stop. That's the biggest flaw with the Indians is they don't have a gas gas. They do. What are you talking about? Come here. No, I It's right there. It's just that it's an accessory. You can you can get it. And this bike, I think it comes included, but you can actually buy one that has got a different color, kind of like this color over here. More classic looking. That was the original color that used to come for the uh, gas gauge on those. And then they changed it to black to kind of match it with the bike. Let's see if this one has it. No, this one's probably electronic. I'm not finding a bike that has it, probably inside, man. Get back, put the bikes in neutral. It's a very good bike. It's just, I'm tall, so my lower back was great. See, come here, Joe. Just in black, but... This is what I was riding. That's what you need, though. You just need the, uh... well, it doesn't matter for you. I think you were comfortable anyway. For me, it does, because I gotta, I gotta get used to it. For me, it's a lot easier to ride with the ape hangers. Most of it, yeah. I think if you ask them specifically, they can bring some 18s. I think they have them uh, specifically somewhere. I will ask if I was you about that 18, see what they can do for you. Maybe they can drop a couple grants. Maybe they can drop a couple grants for you. You know, if you're ready to come into it, you can at least talk. I don't think it'll be so bad. Definitely all of them. All right, so I'm leaving now. Uh, it was a great event. Uh, I am pretty happy to test ride that bike. So leave me in the comments. Um, how, have you guys test rode any bikes ever? Have you guys have you guys been to any motorcycle riding events? What bike do you currently ride? What bike would you like to have? And make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.